Jared Poland, Frono's Photo. Dot com here to make more updates to my personal photo website at jaredpolin.com. Now, if you missed the last video that I did where I made some major updates to my website, go ahead and click up on the screen right now. Just look for the info button in the top. It will take you over to that video where I went ahead and added new galleries and got rid of old galleries and ended up saying, well, I'm not really sure how I'm gonna make this work, but if I do figure it out, I'll make another video. Well, that's exactly what happened is I figured it out. So I'm making another video right now. I also want to thank Squarespace for being a supporter and sponsor of fronosphoto.com. And if you don't have your own website and you're looking for the easiest straightforward solution for building your very own portfolio online, go ahead and check out squarespace.com slash fronosphoto to get a 14 day free trial. If you decide that it's for you, go ahead and use the code fronosphoto at checkout to get 10% off your entire first order. So jaredpoland.com is built off of Squarespace. My very first Squarespace site was probably over 10 years ago and I've been using it almost ever since. Actually, in between, I had somebody else build me another site and I hated the fact that it took them forever to make the changes that I wanted and I went back to Squarespace for my own personal site. So here we are, this is what we've got. We've got the front page that does this. It says six degrees, one dash one, and then mom's photo story. But what I wanted to do was have, when I click six degrees, I want it to take me to a gallery of six degrees and not just gallery one of one or 1.1 1 .1 from Steve Weatherford. So I was playing around after the last video and I, I, fig I figured it out. Uh, so under here and not linked, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit new page. I didn't even know most of this stuff was here. And th that's the crazy thing is Squarespace is adding new things all the time and you kind of just have to dig through uh, on occasions just to play around especially with unlinked pages, which is what I'm doing right now to select something that works. All layouts, I didn't even know this was here either. Default, contact, images, uh, I, I kind of want images. So, nope, don't like those. Let me go to all layouts again, because check this out. I was scrolling and I was like, wait a second. There's six of these, team three, and then team four. I'm like, well, team three has six images. That's perfect for six degrees. So, look at this. I'm thinking that on the front page when, when you come to jaredpoland.com and it says six degrees line one, you could click it and it could take you right here. It also brings up some other issues that I'll have to work through with you guys, but let's, hey, what are you doing? I wanna click on this thing. What does plus do? Oh, that's if you wanna add some more stuff. Oh, right, right, I, I remember this. Here, cancel this. I need to come over here and change it to six degrees line one. And so it's gonna say six degrees line one at the top. Any media? Nope. Banner, thumbnail, image? No, we're gonna do this. We're gonna hit save. And then I wanna go ahead and edit page content. So the first box would be the first degree, the second box, third box, six, all the way up to the sixth degree. I'm like, this is exactly what I'm looking for. Maybe I'll put the information down here and put some extra information in, but let's add an image. So I'm gonna go over here and we've got Steve Weatherford. Uh, what image, let's see. Well, when I made the photo book, I put this on the cover of it. So I'm gonna drag this one in, hit open, and, and it's loading. So it's uploading that to make this thumbnail. Do, 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 do. And there it is. So it's actually cut off a little bit. So let me go ahead and hit edit here. Uh, I don't want to change any of that. Content. The Im Oh, if I move, check this out. If I move this circle, it can move to where you want the image. So we've got that. So I could apply that so that the image shows up more or I could just play around here and try to find a better design. Like there's poster, and that means I could type right here. I could type Steve W. Weatherford, and then right here, I could type 1-1, one -one. and then that's what that would look like, but I don't like that you can't read it and it's cropping the image, and I don't, oh, can I extend it? Oh, geez, you can extend it. Look at that, you can just play around and you can make those changes. Huh, so we've got card. 
I don't like card. It takes up too much room. Collage, stack, overlap. I kind of like overlap, but I don't like one dot, one, one here. I kind of want one, one to be here. So I could do one, one, no, I want to do one dash one. And then I could hit apply. And let me hit save and boom. I've got the, the first one done. Now I want to keep going and I want to go into the second one. Now b bear with me, this is a, I'm showing you real time how this all works and I'm working through it with you so you can understand what goes into this. Um, I may, maybe I won't go through all of them, maybe I'll go through a couple of them so that we can move on to the next thing so it's not boring to you. But uh, one thing I discovered is that you can actually drag an image. I don't have to hit add image. I can just drag an image. And I think that the best images to use are the headshots that I took, which ended up being the cover photos for the books that I did. The unfortunate thing is I don't have a, a headshot I didn't do of Steve, and Steve's was the very first one that I did. And unfortunately, I didn't get that idea until the next one. So it is what it is. All of the rest are gonna have it. So there's that. Definitely don't like that the way that it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit edit, design. Let's go to overlap. Look guys, there's a lot of other things that you could do here. How do I type in the box? See that, if I hit apply, how do I type into the box? You don't. File name optional. No, I don't, I don't want the op, but okay. Design, maybe I have to go here and do what I did with Steve's and just type it in here. And then Lewis Howes 2-1. I don't want to write there. And then I hit overlap. Good. So that's done. That's gone. Let's hit apply. I don't want to write right there. And I also don't like this spacer. Get out of here, spacer. And, and then I just realized I didn't have Steve's click anywhere. So let me go back in here. Design image link, because I do, you could do a button, which I definitely don't want, and I like the option for on the image. And then it comes up with the URL selector. I'm gonna select content, scroll down because it's in alphabetical order. There's Steve Weatherford. I hit apply, and now this should be linkable. Click on this and it's gonna take you to his six degree story. And then I can do the same with Lewis. Go to design, image link, on image, then I can hit this, content. All of this is just discovering that I'm discovering from playing around inside the back end of Squarespace. It is really simple to do. I hit apply. Let me just add one more. Let's go for the Jason Flom one. I kind of want to add all of the pictures because I want to see how it's going to look. So there's Jason. I might as well just drag and drop, right? While we're doing it, while it's loading, so I'm not wasting time. Then we've got her headshot right here. Because I just think it's going to look pretty cool. Oh, it's doing it. It's doing it. And then we got Stefan Macchio. He's got a headshot in here somewhere. There it is. He's got it. This is all my six degrees. And then we got Charlie's. He's got the headshot right here. So we can add that right there. And But you see how bad it looks as a square? I just don't like how it looks as a square. So we hit edit. There's probably an easier way to do this than me going here and, oh, oh, I could just do it like this. Jason Flom, 3-1, and then I can hit overlay, or sorry, overlap, get rid of that. Oh, I need to link it. On image, URL, content. We are looking for Jason Flom, hit apply. And look at that, that's exactly how I want it to look except for these that need to be edited. You know, okay, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. You guys bear with me, I'm doing it, don't worry. Overlap and done. Yes, and hit save. That's exactly what I wanted. Except that that headshot's not as tight, but whatever. All the headshots aren't gonna be exactly perfect and exactly the same, plus I don't have Steve's. But, so this isn't listed yet anywhere on the website. Um, it's not linked. So that's one of those debates, like, do I make it linkable? Do I put it down here or do I include it? Can I even drag a page into this? So I can. 
So that means that six degrees line one, and then you could, okay, so that could be an option. So this is what I wanna do on the main page. So we've got my main page, which is we're right here, Jared Polin. We're going back to the main page and I'm gonna go ahead and edit this because I want this to go to six degrees, one dash one. But instead of going to Steve Weatherford's, I'm gonna send it to, hopefully I can send it to the page, six degrees line one and hit save. And now when we, let's go to the, let, oh, will it do it? Let me see if I can go to jaredpolin.com. Oh, wrong thing. jaredpolin.com in an incognito window. If I hit six degrees, I'm gonna actually change that to line one. And then, so it takes me to six degrees line one, and then you can go in here and you can select the story that you wanna go to, and then it goes ahead and takes you to that story. If you wanna get back, this was one of the dilemmas I had. Do you, you can see all the other stories and you could also then go to six degrees line one. So that was one of the dilemmas I was trying to get worked out and I may end up changing it. Like I always say, you never know what you're gonna keep, but I wanted to make sure that you could get back to this gallery or see the other stories that are there like 1-1, one because one. if you're at 1-1, one one, then you, you don't want to go and have to click and go back to the main gallery to then click on the next story, when all you have to do is just hover over and then all of the stories are there. So it's one less click. I'm not making you click back to go forward, to go back. You can just either go back to the main gallery where the stories are linked, or you could go ahead and just click it in the tree. Okay, so I have to cut in here real quick and say when I finished the video, I realized that for the six degrees, I was doing one dash one, then two dash one, then three dash one, all the way up to six dash one. And I think that the proper way that it should be done is it should be, let's say it's the second degree, it should be line one, degree two. And I'm sure it could go the other way where it's degree two, line one, but I think it should be six degrees, one dash two, one dash three all the way up to one dash six. So that way it denotes that it's line one and then what number of the degree. So let's get back to the video. So that's good. Get rid of that. Uh, I want this to say six degrees line one. And then my mom's photo story, I, I don't really want to link to that. So what I came up with is Similar to what we did with the page. I'm gonna make another page. We're gonna call this photo stories. And I'm not sure how many you can, oh, that's so you can pick that. But I remember when we scrolled down here, we saw one that had 12 photo stories. So maybe I come up with different photo stories pages, whether it's music photo stories, personal photo stories, whatever, and I could have multiple ones of these at the bottom. So here, we've got this. I haven't pulled any images yet, because I just thought of this, so I haven't downloaded my mother's images, but let me, let me see, can we, without having to re-upload things, can we just add an image from content that already exists? Edit, content, add an image, design. We gotta be able to do that, right? No. It's not letting me pick from an image that is already uploaded. There may be a way, but I haven't, I don't, I don't know what it is. But you understand what I'm doing here is now that I've got 12, I can put 12 photo stories in here and they're gonna look great whether I, and I'm gonna try to follow a theme, just like I did the vertical headshots with the, the photo stories, the six degrees, I wanna do the same similar theme here. Have one image, whether it's a square, or whether it's a vertical or a horizontal, I'm not really sure what it's gonna look like yet, but I do have that ability to go ahead and do that. Let's, what's plus? You can add text, mark down, I don't even know what the hell that is, a quote, an image, video, image layouts, you can add more image layouts here? Really? You could add photo galleries, summary. I'm not really sure how this works. 
So this is a summary. So if I wanted to add more photo stories, could I do that? If I hit edit, can you change? Ooh, let's just, let's just click on some, oh, that's not what I want. That's not what I want at all. So we're gonna discard that. We're gonna throw that out. Yes, we're gonna delete it. So right now it seems like I've got 12. I'm gonna have to see if I can add an extra 12 or is it that I'm just gonna limit this to 12, just checking my time. I'm just gonna limit this to 12. All right, let me hit cancel. Yes, I'm canceling. All right, so I'm gonna have to download, I'm gonna have to export the images, prepare them for what I want, which is fine. It's just gonna take me some time to go ahead and get these photo stories. But remember when in the last video, uh, if maybe you didn't see it, I dropped some of these photo stories out because I didn't wanna have so many of them in there and clogging up the, the, the hierarchy. Now I can have 12 photo stories and I could just have photo stories as a button or photo stories two or whatever I name it, personal photo stories, which I didn't wanna do last time or music photo stories or travel photo stories or people photo stories, which is similar to six degrees. I can then work on an outline and a, and a layout that encompasses those images and now I can move these in there. I can, you know, Modest Yahoo, A Day with Modest Yahoo, A Day with Gavin DeGraw, The Mr. Wives. I can go back through my archives and pull out these photo stories that I've done and then create individual pages right now of 12. Like I said, there may be a way to do this better, but let, let's go to my website again that's live right now. And this is the change that I've wanted to make is six degrees line one. I want you to be able to come right to the website and then click on something and it takes you right to different galleries. Now you can go through, man, it sucks that I don't have headshots for all of them. And you can, I better, I better go ahead and update this because we didn't link all these out just yet. So right now they're gonna, they're, these aren't linking, but this will link to Lewis Howes. Yep, and then you can go right through all the images the same way. And then you can either go back to six degrees line one. I should probably make this say line one home, but that may take up too much space. Does it make sense guys? Does six degrees line one make sense that this you go back and then each one of these are the other photo stories? I think that makes sense. I think I need to give people credit that are on the website and then the images load. You can use the arrow keys to go across. You can go ahead and see the gallery just like this and then all your photo stories move back up to the top. I'm liking this. I'm really happy I played around and figured out what I was looking for because that gave me exactly what I wanted. So I'm not gonna sit here and make you watch everything that I'm doing all over again. What's interesting, look at this. We've got eyes, eyes, and eyes. Uh, these eyes are pretty even, so I did a good job there. Uh, not so good on these two. Like this middle one of Stefan matches, it is what it is. They're not gonna all be perfect, but they're gonna be close. My goal with every six degrees is to have a headshot similar to this that goes on the cover of the book as well as works as a color cover for my galleries. So I'm gonna keep working. I'm gonna end the video there. But again, if you don't have your own website and you know nothing about building websites, like I know nothing about HTML or very little. I went to school and I took one class and then left after two days of that class because I was just like, this sucks. I could have learned more on YouTube uh, if it actually existed at the time. It did, but it was brand new. But if you're looking for your own website and you're afraid to build it, don't be afraid to build it. It's drag and drop, it's WYSIWYG. What you see is what you get. Go get your 14 day free trial at squarespace.com slash Fronos Photo. That way, if you like it, go for it. If you don't like it, no harm, no foul, because you don't need a credit card for that. If you decide that it's for you, use my code at checkout because that helps me out. The code is Fronos Photo, and that gets you 10% off your entire first year or your entire first month, whichever you decide. You'll save more when you get it for the whole year. So that's where I'm gonna leave it, guys. If you have any questions, leave them down below. If you missed the last video where I started making these changes, go ahead and click on the screen right up here, and it will take you back to that video. Thank you very much for watching jaredpolinfronosphoto.com. See ya.